And let's look at uh, how uh, the estimation of OLS regression is done conceptually. So here um, we see all the data points, right? All the data points from uh, a uh, data file. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine data points with two variables, right? One variable is called education, and another variable is income. And income here, I use it as the response variable or the dependent variable, and education is the independent variable. So we have these nine data points, right? Uh, plotted in the uh, Cartesian uh, coordinate system. And what we want to do is to find a line, a single street line, a straight line that can fit this data best. Okay. So here, the number one challenge is how to define the bestness. Well, there could be a variety of standards by which we can use to, to define the bestness. But here, um, for OLS regression or ordinary least square, uh, the standard we use is simply we want to find a line that produces the smallest sum of squared errors, okay? Produces the minimum of sum of square errors. So here, let's begin with uh, this term, sum of square errors, okay? And uh, so what is an error? As I just talked about in the previous slide, error uh, for OS regression refers to prediction error, right? The difference between the observed uh, response variable y, the value of the response, right, for a uh, case or for all the cases and the predicted y. So let's assume at this moment I figure out, so somehow magically I figure out this regression line, right, the blue line. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a vertical difference, let's say for the third case, uh, excuse me, the fifth case, okay, so for the fifth case, the observed y is 80. What is the predicted? Well, for the same x value, for the same x value, the predicted y is 66, which is exactly that data point. The y value income for that data point, the predicted income for that data point is 66 and here I uh, run up a little bit. Uh, roughly it's 66 and that's on the regression line. And we can draw a vertical line here, vertical to, to uh, education. And the distance is the vertical distance, ver uh, perpendicular okay, to uh, education. That segment is what? 80 minus, minus 66. So that is the error here, which is unknown before estimation. Same thing for observation number seven, okay? Uh, the income value for observation seven is 70. And after I figure out the regression line, somehow magically, uh, for the same X value, the predicted Y, that is income, is 86. Okay? So for observation, for observation five, the error is what? 14, and for observation seven, the error turns out to be what? Negative 16, negative 16. Uh, so this uh, causes a bit of a problem, right? For observation five and, and observation seven, if let's say we, we want to find a, a regression line that minimizes, let's say minimizes the sum of errors as opposed to the sum of squared errors, these numbers, they would cancel out. They would cancel out. And the consequence is that uh, we won't be find a reasonably uh, good uh, line that can fit the data well. We cannot. So what we're going to do is we want to turn the negative sign, that is uh, the error for observation seven, 
into a positive number and the natural choice will be square that error. So that's the reason why we want to square all these errors, sometimes positive, sometimes negative, right? So if the data point uh, uh, falls under regression line after estimation, right? That distance, that number is negative. So we want to square that and we want to sum across. We want to sum across, okay? And people say, well, we don't know that uh, uh, error yet because we don't know the regression line and we don't know the predicted value uh, of y yet. That's true, that's true. But the whole idea is, uh, begins with uh, this uh, thought experiment. If we can figure out a regression line, okay, and that line gotta fit the data best. And how to define the bestness? Well, is the line that minimizes the sum of square errors. And from there, what we can do is to construct a function. And then uh, turn to calculus to solve for the problem. That's what we're going to talk about. So the OLS uh, estimator minimizes the sum of square residuals and how to express that sum. And here, uh, sum uh, turns into the summation sign, right? And square errors is what I highlighted, underlined in uh, red, right? So the square residuals is the difference between the observed Y and the predicted Y. So what is the predicted Y? That's uh, xi multiplied by what? Uh, the beta uh, column vector, right? And we don't know beta hat yet. And uh, uh, we know uh, what y is and, and what x is. The only thing that's unknown is the beta hat uh, ordinary least square estimator. Okay. So that's the only unknown. Then we square that number and sum across all cases, we get that function. So now we have a function, okay? Uh, the minimization function, loss function sometimes, what is it called, right? Which is a function of beta hat. And uh, so how to find the beta hat? That's our goal, right? Well, the beta hat, uh, the OLS estimator, is the estimator that minimizes the sum of the square residuals. And uh, for those who have some background in calculus, we know that right away, uh, we recognize that's a minimization, maximization problem. What we can do is we can uh, take derivative or partial derivative of that function with respect to the unknown that is beta hat here, and then get the result, set it to zero, and solve for the equation. We will get beta hat. Uh, uh, so, um, in a matrix form, the sum of square errors can be expressed as uh, e prime e prime denotes a transpose. And what is e? Um, uh, e is equal to y minus x beta hat. Um, beta is unknown yet. Uh, prime, that is transpose, multiplied by y minus x beta hat. Okay? And we can go through uh, this calculation using matrix algebra. And uh, E prime E, that is the sum of square errors, is equal to Y prime Y minus two beta hat prime X prime Y plus beta hat prime X prime X uh, beta hat. And uh, Y and X are known, and the only unknown quantity, which is, is supposed to be a uh, common vector, that is beta hat. Right? So we get this minimization or loss function. 
what we're going to do. Uh, we take a uh, we take its partial derivative with respect to beta hat, right? Uh, and we get uh, negative two x prime y plus two x prime x beta hat equal to zero. And um, solve for uh, this uh, equation, we get beta hat equal to x prime x inverse x prime y. And that is a, a very commonly known result for OLS regression. So if you don't know a lot of math behind uh, derivation, that's fine. But I would uh, expect uh, uh, you to memorize this result that is x prime x inverse x prime y. What is beautiful about this result is that uh, no matter how many predictors we have, this uh, this result holds. Okay, so let's we we can have two predictors, three predictors, five predictors, and ten predictors, or even one hundred predictors. Doesn't matter. We can lump them into the X uh, matrix and um, get that result. 